Steve Cunningham, the former cruiserweight champion against Frank Mir, the former UFC heavyweight champion. Oscar, what's your prediction? I'll tell you one thing. Look, you look at Frank Mir all tattooed it up. He's about 100 pounds bigger than Cunningham, but the USSR is going to bring some bombs to the table. Let me tell you. <laughs> you mean the USS? No, not the USSR. The baby. USSR doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> you get it, He's Let's retro. go, baby. He's Let's retro. Go. Let's go. <laughs> Look you know, at his abs. Look at his abs. Oh, man. Frank Mir uh, said these early rounds very important to him because he thinks the boxer gets uh, the edge oh, as rounds go on. No. Once Steve Cunningham starts throwing bombs, Frank Mir is going to fold. Oh. But if Frank Mir puts the pressure on him, I would put pressure. He's heavier. Go. Put it. Go, baby. Go. Oscar's right. He wants to get in right in the kitchen, put his head on his chest, and use that weight advantage. And Al, correct me if I'm wrong, but with heavyweights, there is no limit, really. When you're heavy, you're heavy, and you've seen discrepancies this big before. Yeah, absolutely. As I pointed out, uh, Cunningham has beaten a fighter, Nate uh, Vecino. Uh, he beat him. Uh, Vecino, he beat him, and he, he was 73 pounds bigger than him. So uh, he has beaten bigger men before. Guys, well, hey, hey, guys, I need to find out. Listen. Is everyone still high from Snoop's weed? Because oh, I'm feeling baby. a little bit of the effects. I'm not going to lie. Snoop Doggy feet. Dog, baby. <laughs> look, at this little, look at this little shoe box they're fighting in. Oh, baby. Oscar, you're, Oscar, you're Somebody, right. come on, baby. Come on. That what do you think, Mario? Oh, it's a tiny on. ring. USSR, oh, baby. Uh, Oscar, USSR. Oscar's definitely high. I can tell you that. Oh, Snoop Dogg, I love you. <laughs> what, what gave him away? Oh, <laughs> baby. Not, listen, hey, I I'm just a little hush okay. puppy, baby. I'm just a little hush puppy. You're a hush puppy, In the okay. Snoop Doggy world. <laughs> this is what you get on Triller Fight Club. Steve Cunningham, Frank Mir, going at it. Frank Mir making his pro boxing debut out. Yeah, you know, so far, Frank Mir has landed some decent power punches against uh, Cunningham. He's trying. And remember, he said these early rounds, he's got to get off to a, a pretty good start. And you have to give him credit. He has gotten off to a good start. I, I love, I love Cunningham's physique look at look at he looks like a dadonis he looks like he looks beautiful he looks in shape hey al, look I at know the way he's making him a miss al i know you're a straight arrow guy but how is it me feeling high for the first time well i will say this is probably the first boxing broadcast now which i've gotten a contact on. oh okay i'm gonna say it's you the have, first you, one you have a cocktail yeah so do and, i so. And, and it's the first one to actually get a contact mario, mario, in, uh, mario what do you think mario hey i'm like you know i'm surprised that frank is not being more of a bully in there yeah. using his weight because i would like you mentioned earlier oscar stick my head right in his chest and be heavy on him because if he's going to try to stay on the outside cutting is going to pick, pick him apart oh baby just go Attack, attack, baby. Attack like the golden boy. <laughs> Let's go. Like, it looks like a matter hey, of time. It Oscar's like in rare form. Time. I love it. That ends round one. Oh, baby, I would have had this done in a second. Journalist town. <laughs> There's know? a rumor to that effect. I mean, listen, <laughs> that's what I've been told from sources. Uh, Al, yeah, Al, that... I'm going to smoke with Al Bernstein. You're going to smoke with Al Bernstein, yeah, crime faces? Yeah, Al, yeah. Al doesn't want to share. Those are, those are, oh, oh, three. see, that, that's not nice. Those well, are it's not nice is what Cunningham's sixth round. Is that a bad thing, gentlemen? I don't think so, because he's no. giving up a substantial amount of weight. He's hit him with some really clean shots, and he's going up against a former MMA champion with a solid and, set of whiskers. Yeah, Frank Mir can... My hat's off to him, because he is ah. doing amazing. Yeah, well, Al, Frank, Frank Mir did tell us that if he yeah. went the distance, he would consider it a victory for him. Yeah, he said that would be yeah. something that he would he could show fans that he did against a top-notch fighter. Who, yeah. Even though, you know, Cunningham's been retired for several years, and he's 44, he's in good shape, and he's always been a very clever fighter so it's a it is a, a you know a moral victory for frank Mir. i think both fighters can hold their head up high yeah after I agree. this victory they both have shown great moments in this fight this is the last round baby you gotta fight till the end you gotta go take a deep breath and just go hard baby you think about a fighter's life this is what it's all about right here. The last two minutes of your life. Yep. You want to fight or you want to fold? Oscar. Oh, the judge's hands. Has he been, has Cunningham been deflating the balloon? This is his chance right now to pop it. Let's go, baby. He needs Let's to pop go. the balloon. Let's go. You don't want to, you don't want to oh, regret. Oh, good shot. You don't want to regret 
when you're in your dressing room and saying to yourself, I should have done more. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oscar hyped. <laughs> all right, put it all out there. Last round. This so is all you have, baby. Let's go. I love the passion. See, Oscar's a true fight fan. We'll watch fights all the time. He gets hyped for all of them. Oh, look at that oh, with the downstairs oh. upstairs. Baby, you're getting hit anyway. Might as well go out in your shield, baby. Let's go, baby. Frank Mir, Cunningham, let's go, baby. All right, so I've been told that Woo! Charlie oh, D'Amelio, oh, Dixon D'Amelio, yeah. two of the oh. most famous girls in the world, along with Bobby Starfish, who oh. goes ahead. They're going to be giving the belt to the winner of this fight. So the D'Amelio sisters, Dixie and Charlie, two of the most famous girls in the world, along with the Triller co-owner, are going to be giving a belt to the winner after this fight. And that eye's starting to swell a little bit for Frank Mir. Frank Mir looks like he's going to go the distance, and I think that's a victory in and of itself going up against a high-caliber boxer. Every, fight, like every time Cunningham. I fought, my, every time I fought, the next day I asked myself, did I give it my all? Did I give it my all? Let's go, Cunningham. Let's go, Frank Mir. Let's go, baby. I like yeah, that. Yeah, but I bet you didn't get a belt presented by Dixie and Charlie D'Amelio. I'll tell oh, you that, Oscar. I got 11 belts. <laughs> oh, where are those girls? My daughter is going to kill me if I don't get a... <laughs> My daughter's already Do not hit me. Let's go, baby. That, Mario. No, I know. All right, final Woo! moments. Frank Mears, Steve Cunningham. Let's go, Dixie baby. Dixie and Charlie D'Amelio giving the battle man. on with... Bobby Starfish. Right here. Let's go. And we go to distance. Sean Wheeler, how'd you have the scratch. fight score? Behind me ringside. <laughs> All right, let's look at how the action unfolded. You know, it was, a, it was a valiant effort by Frank Mir. He tried to rush in and throw some punches, but you can't learn the nuances of boxing in just one training camp as, yeah. as oscar could tell you cunningham is a seasoned pro world class and there's just different levels to this that was a beautiful combination and, you know he had sparred with berman stiverne and 